Blackberries are a unique crop because they're actually native to the southeast and native to Arkansas and so they're already pretty well adapted to being grown in the state. So we have probably somewhere around 300 acres in the state. Start with seedlings just like a family and we target to put out five to ten thousand progeny or children from a group of crosses of parents developed here. The selections are made about one out of a hundred sometimes more, sometimes less. And after about seven or eight years, the best of those would be released as a variety. So we go from tens of thousands to hundreds to dozens to one or two or three that make the cut. John has been doing it for, you know, 30, 40 plus years, and he has really been able to develop, you know, a, a taste or a, an eye for it. There's been 21 varieties, public varieties released from the program. The most important one across the state and country and planted across the world is Washita. Now, Washita is very unique. It's widely adapted, it's thornless, upright, as a good stable yielder in many environments. The most recent one is Ponca. And Ponca is one that, you know, once people try that blackberry cultivar, you know, it's really kind of a game changer, I think, for them in terms of flavor. I'll say that I want people to eat our berries fresh, no sugar, no ice cream, no pies. A lot of people don't like it when I say that either, but it's healthy that way. We've had some traumatic weather events. It was minus 15 Fahrenheit at our fruit research station here north of Clarksville. Uh, never seen it this cold here. And then we had a frost event on April 21, and our frost-free date here is April 15. Never seen that. So it's a tough year to make progress, but at the same time, it gives us a chance to find a plant that maybe at least endured the cold, maybe could recover from frost. That'd be a trait that we might not see unless the plant went through a crop loss. Where we're developing all of these new cultivars that are going to be released and uh, hopefully grown by growers here in Arkansas, but also grown by growers all across the world. So it's been a lot of fun in my 41 years to work with this crop and see it go from just a patch of briars to something that's uh, honorable to say you spent a career working on.